Crop monitoring is a systematic observation and inspection of crops that enables a business to manage a biosecurity risk. To aid in identifying biosecurity risks, a monitoring plan must be devised for each growing area and mother stock production area within the nursery. To be successful, monitoring must be performed routinely and consistently. Knowledge of the plants produced and their associated pests and diseases form the background of successful monitoring. Crop monitoring is conducted by trained personnel known as authorised inspection persons who have been trained in the identification of pests, diseases, weeds and monitoring procedures. They can be owners, paid employees or contractors. The authorised inspection person identifies key plants and pests for the purposes of routine monitoring. The production area is divided into logical units and maps of these units made so that all areas can be effectively monitored on a routine basis. Crops should be monitored at least weekly with the interval being determined by the crop production cycle, immediate past monitoring results, potential seasonal risks and time of the year with increased monitoring in the warmer months. A range of inspection equipment is required to perform crop monitoring efficiently. The monitoring procedure can be done more effectively by using a pouch to carry the equipment. Prior to undertaking crop monitoring activities, review the previous year's crop monitoring and site surveillance records. Begin each crop monitoring process in sterile or clean areas or those of high risk, such as propagation facilities or crop hardening off areas. Move progressively into less high-risk areas such as hardened finished crops ready for dispatch or known hardy crops. Pay particular attention to areas on the windward side and close to vegetative areas, waterways, water storage and vegetative waste dumps. Routinely inspect growing areas, borders and surrounding areas. Place a flag or another marker at the entrance to the block or sampling area at the beginning of each crop monitoring activity. Vary the entrance point to the crop monitoring area for each subsequent crop monitoring activity to avoid inspecting the same plants each time. Walk at random through the area in a zigzag pattern and follow the same general pattern at each crop monitoring activity, making an effort to visually inspect those plants that appear less healthy. Inspect between 10 and 20 plants or plug trays per 100 square metres of production area. The sample rate is dictated by the number of plants of the same species within a batch. More plants of the same species and age equals more plants inspected. Visually inspect the crop for abnormal plant growth, weed, pest and disease symptoms. If a pest or disease is suspected, examine the tops and undersides of leaves, flowers, branches and stems looking for direct evidence of insects or diseases. Inspect the entire plant if it has six or fewer leaves, and on larger plants, select a total of six leaves from all parts of the plant and examine them individually. Check for any problems that have occurred regularly in the past until it is certain they are not present. Inspection of the below surface parts of plants should be conducted when possible and practical. Examine the plant roots and growing media for signs of pests, diseases and contaminants by randomly sampling the crop and removing the container to expose the root system. During individual plant inspections, strike the foliage and flowers over a white surface to dislodge small pests for easier viewing. When problems are identified, increase the number of plants inspected in those areas. As the monitoring progresses, determine the number of plants per block with symptoms of the disease, insect injury or weed infestation. Observe and record any situational problems such as malfunctioning sprinkler heads, poor drainage, weeds and any physiological disorders. If suspect quarantine pests are detected, the inspection is stopped and the business's Biosecure HACCP certification controller is notified. If unable to identify pests, diseases or weeds in the field, seek expert opinion. Record pest, disease and weed numbers present and the presence or absence of quarantine pests and diseases and any plant physiological problems discovered on the crop monitoring record sheet. More information can be found in the Biosecure HACCP guidelines. This video has been produced by the Nursery and Garden Industry Queensland and supported by the Nursery and Garden Industry Australia and Horticulture Australia Limited.
Special thanks go to Palmwood Tropicals, Marlborough Nursery and Aspley Nursery. For further information, contact your state or territory association or NGIA.